I hope you're doing well. Today we will see do mathematicians need funding. This video is brought to you by the question response channel. Thanks to Peter, Dara Chavy, Helena Hogsbro Thigazan and Colleen Farrelly for sharing their answers to this question with us. The first answer will be from Peter. Yes, but not much. There is a joke, mathematics is the second cheapest department to fund. All they need are pencils, paper and erasers. Philosophy is cheapest. They don't need the erasers. The following answer is from Dara Chavy. I like the joke answers. But to be more realistic, mathematicians need funding for going to conferences, purchasing books in our specialty, hiring students to do mundane calculations or administrivia, hiring proofreaders who know math to review our book in progress. In some cases, purchasing powerful computers to do certain calculations. In some cases, travel to locations for research, e.g. my PhD advisor, a geometer, went to Africa, Fiji, and Samoa to talk with craftsmen about how they created the designs. As a general rule, though, our expenses are quite minimal with respect to those needed in the other sciences. So, when we ask, we almost always get. The next answer is from Helena Hogsbro Thigazan. This reminds me of a joke about a physics professor who went to the dean to ask for funding. Professor, we propose a modest budget for the next year. We just need a reactor, a wind tunnel, a linear accelerator and a handful of space rockets. Dean, sigh, you guys are so demanding. Why can't you be like the math people? They just asked for a pen, a sheet of paper and a waste bin. Or even better, like the philosophy people. They just asked for a piece of paper and a waste bin. The next answer is from Colleen Farrelly. To some extent, most major universities have mathematicians on salary for the university, with access to university resources. It's helpful to have extra funding for applied math folks, as some may need access to supercomputers or quantum computers. Always nice to have the extra funding. My old university would let faculty keep some of the money from grants as a bonus. This is the end of the video. I hope you have more answers. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it more, you can subscribe and leave a like on this video. The video is over. You can continue discussing this question in the comments, or find another question that interests you. See you next time.